Hey everybody, it's Lamont Watts, the CSO of Radio, Chief Stepping Officer, along with the flyest diva of radio, DJ Fly Diva. Diva. Yes. It's that time. Yes, my favorite time of the day. Small business spotlight. Absolutely. And uh, you know what, Diva? I am I'm happy, but I'm upset at the same time. And I'm going to tell you why. Let me guess. Be, be something dealing with food? Yes. Don't you see? I'm trying to, you know, look, I'm, yeah, and, you know, and you bring this lady that we have heard about. Uh-huh. And I know her food is good. So, uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, you know what? What? You should let her feed you. Hmm. That's what you should do. So today's uh, guest uh, <laughs> is no stranger to clubstepping.com or DJ Fly D, but we have Miss Takana Young of Takana's Kitchen. Welcome. Greetings, greetings. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for coming. Now, Absolutely. for those that don't know you, uh, can you give us a little history about the background about yourself and your business? Sure. Um, Takana Young, uh, Chief Curator of Takana's Kitchen, my love child is what I call it. Uh-huh. Uh, I've been in business for six years here in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I do all things, meal prep, uh, I teach cannabis-infused foods, I talk to folks about healthy eating, healthy living, I create customized meal plans for people, weekly menus, event planning, personal, private catering, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I do, that's what I love. Oh, man, that, that, I'm salivating already. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, so again, meal prep. Especially mm-hmm. for, uh, because one of the things that I started doing in the uh, new year is trying to slim down. So, uh, of course, you can create all type of uh, different menus and mm-hmm. meals uh, based on the person, right? Mm-hmm. So, for me, I started doing meal prep because, uh, and, and I share this with everyone, even in my bio, that I am a lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and Raynaud's syndrome survivor. Uh, I was told in 2001 when I was diagnosed that I wouldn't see 30, which was in 2004. Mm-hmm. Well... Somebody else had the final say because I turned 47 on the 11th of January. Um, And so I really got into meal prep, learning how to eat appropriately according to what my goals were, whether it be losing weight, gaining weight, maintaining levels, dealing with a doctor with my my levels, with my blood levels and sugars and things of that nature. And so I am not just a former educator personally, but I believe that information that we get is not just for us we're supposed to help other people that's the reason we were gifted with the information yeah. and so my entire meal prep premise is on customization based on what that particular person is trying to do and also trying to teach them ways to healthily get off of synthetic medication and get their immune systems back centered and in, in where they should be for them to live period so i am a, a living testament and a living story of what can happen if you follow a plan. Wow. Gotcha. So you know a lot about those, uh, you know, because you hear people talking about, oh, uh, I've lowered my blood pressure mm-hmm. and I ate because I ate broccoli or something. Mm-hmm. And it, mm-hmm. But you actually have the, uh, the plans that somebody can follow to help. I them. actually have the plans. I am a certified nutritionist as well. I, like I said, I didn't just get the fix for myself. Mm-hmm. I went and got the, the certifications behind it so that I could have those types of consultations and conversations with clients. And, in fact, I had a client call me today um, and wanting just the information about meal prep. And I said, well, there is a consultation fee. This is a scheduled time. And it was beyond her. She just was like, oh, I just thought I could call and tell you how many meals I want and what I want to eat. I said, well, that's not the point. Mm-hmm. We're trying to change your life. We're trying to get you into the right perspective of what your intake is. Mm -hmm. everything from your liquids that you drink all the time to everything you know and so it is more than just oh that food looks good i want to eat it and i ate it for a week and i lost this weight Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no it's a change it's it's a lifetime change wow yeah so you um you take the time to actually suggest what they should eat they can't come to you and say well this Mm -hmm. is what i so what happens is they call me for uh, the consultation. Mm-hmm. I send out a menu. The mm-hmm. menu includes protein, starch, and veggies, mm-hmm. a section for salads, and also a vegetarian section of proteins. Okay. Because I do have people that have keto plans that they're interested in. I have paleo clients. I have um, alkaline clients. I have clients that have all kinds of what they think they need to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after I have the consultation, I'm able to kind of I don't want to say diagnose. I'll use that word very, very loosely. Mm -hmm. But I have been on so many different medications. I was the test guinea pig, and I'm allergic to out of the four or five C-class meds, I'm allergic to four of them. So my doctor literally told me, you just don't need to get sick because you can't go to the emergency room. I can't do vaccinations. I can't do 
the gambit of meds. So for me, what I learned with all of those different medications, okay, this med, if I, you eat this when you having and you're taking that, this is what's going to happen physically if you take this. So I studied to have uh, more information so that when a client calls me for a consultation, it is a 30-minute call of not just you review the menu and I like A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. It is what is your current diagnosis? What medicines are you taking? Okay, this is going to affect that if you eat that. It is that kind of consultation that I have devoted myself time and, and energy to really making sure that it is customized um, because a lot of people want what they just think they like to eat yeah. mm -hmm. when in fact it could be hurting them because of a, a interaction with a med that they don't even recognize. Mm -hmm. I have clients that come to me and they're on steroids. I take them off all meats that are injected with hormones. Mm -hmm. You can't eat, take a, a steroid and you're eating a hormone. You gotta be, you know, so all of that kind of stuff matters. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's why I make it a point to have those consultations with the client so I can customize according to what's gonna benefit them the most. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, you brought up a great question. Mm -hmm. that, uh, so for what about those people like myself <laughs> that are uh, picky eaters? Mm -hmm. So, you know, like you go through your veggies, mm -hmm. nope. You go through your start, no. Nope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you, uh, what do you, you just. So the menu is so full that there's something, even there's something that you eat. I have clients that are picky eaters and they're trying to watch their sugar. And then they love all of these starches. Well, mm -hmm. starch metabolizes into sugar. So when I get to talk, when I get an opportunity to talk to them about what their real end result is or what they would like and what they're continually eating and how it's not helping them, they'll try it. You know, and it's not bland tasting food. It's not what you typically see with meal prep. It looks cold. It doesn't look palatable. It's just like apples and a cucumber, and it's you eat that. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it, it appears to be soul food, but it is for your soul completely to get you healed. And I, I just really, really believe that when I talk to my clients about what their end result is and what they've been struggling with and what they're continually going in this little circle, this Tasmanian devil circle spinning, mm -hmm. when I can get you to understand really what it is that you're doing and you just make that one step, all we need, all I need you to do is try this. Just try it. Mm -hmm. And then I always do a check-in after in, during that first week with my clients, maybe midweek. Hey, what's going on? How are we doing? How's your this? How's that going? How are your interactions? How do you feel? I got them after that because if I can get you to try this one time, then next week I'm going to give you what you've asked for that's going to help you. Then I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of something else for you to try. Oh. Just a little bit, of, you know. And we as children learn to eat what we think is pretty. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, your plates, when I give them, they're pretty. They're always colorful. And you're going to want to say, okay, I'll try it. So mm -hmm. it, it, trust me, it works. Okay. I'm going to put him on the spot. Because uh, he he's trying to do this consultation right I'm, now. I'm going to put him on the spot real quick because <laughs> he's not being totally honest. Oh, okay. okay. But for everybody who listens and follows the CSO, oh. mm -hmm. all the brother eat is hamburgers. Breakfast, lunch, mm -hmm. dinner, hamburgers. That's mm -hmm. it. Hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. Sugar. And right now he's going through this hamburger withdrawal mm -hmm. because he gave up hamburgers. <laughs> yes. Uh, Why? Not completely, but in an attempt to lose weight. Huh. So when he said picky, and uh -huh, I'm sitting uh -huh. here like waiting on he this picking answer. nothing else but <laughs> hamburgers. <laughs> but hamburgers. <laughs> so it's the it's the ground beef. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and the and the vegan burgers aren't cutting it. It's uh -huh. like oh, I eat them, but uh, I wanna yeah. I wanna walk. I get it. <laughs> So we just need to, with, with a person that's dealing with that, we need to figure out exactly what flavor it is in that burger that he's needing. Mm. And it could be a salt. Mm -hmm. It could be a sugar. That's interesting. That, because that's let me tell you what people don't realize. Mm -hmm. People are in love with condiments. Yes. They don't know okay. anything about food. Uh -huh. if, I can, if I can, or when I teach people about the, the uh, letting go of the condiments, of the condiments. Uh -huh. it changes your palate. Mm -hmm. um, I literally gave up. I don't. I don't do carb carbonation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I gave up carbonation, I was able to taste all of the salt and everything, and all of the sugar. I don't cook with salt. Mm. I cook with garlic pepper. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Garlic is something you need every day. Mm -hmm. When we were coming up, we would have Big Mama, Paw Paw. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. would smell like mm -hmm. garlic, have mm -hmm. garlic rings in their house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why they lived until they were in their late 90s, is because mm. they would put garlic, fresh garlic. I'm about fresh herbs. Okay. And when I teach my clients 
to, to wean off of the necessity of a condiment mm -hmm. and learn how a bell pepper taste that's been roasted with some good old garlic pepper and olive oil and some avocado oil. When you learn to taste stuff that's fresh, it changes your mindset on what you thought you needed. Because mm -hmm. okay. that burger is salt, that's salt. Mm. And depending on what you're putting on that particular burger, is it will tell me a whole lot. Mm. If it's your sugar need or if it's your salt need. I don't do sweets, so I have a propensity of, of savory foods, mm -hmm. okay. but I have mm -hmm. to watch how much salt or whatever was put in it before mm -hmm. I eat it. Mm -hmm. I could do the Whopper before, but I don't do bread anymore because that's sugar. Gotcha. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a, a question I got for you mm -hmm. now. Uh, you know, we have listeners from all around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, is this just Chicago-based, or do you consult around the... So can I tell you something? Here's the deal. <laughs> I lived in Texas from 2004 to 2014, so I have a, a whole lot, a lot of folks. Um, in Texas, and I have family all over. I literally have been doing cooking classes uh, via Zoom now because of the quarantine. Mm -hmm. um, I have been shipping dried products to different clients, and then I'll do a class with them to show them how to prepare it for their meal prep. Uh, before the pandemic, every month I would go out of state and do a pop-up in mm -hmm. different states. So mm -hmm. I've done Florida, Texas, uh, um, oh my goodness, Tennessee, um, Arizona, now it's time for me to do the LA and the, more of Arizona. And so the pandemic slowed me down for a moment of being able to travel and not be just Chicago based. Uh -huh. But what it didn't realize is that I'm going to Zoom class and I'm going to ship and we're still going to work. Right. You know? mm -hmm. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm doing now for mm -hmm. clients that are abroad or away. Okay. Yeah. So uh, then I know everybody's got their pen and paper ready. So uh, how can they get in touch with you? No problem. So uh, there are several ways. The business name is Takana's Kitchen. I'm going to spell it for you because I have been told uh, people spell it all kinds of ways. But Takana's Kitchen is spelled T-A-C-A-N-A-S Kitchen, K-I-T-C-H-E-N dot com. Now, that's the website, okay. Takana's Kitchen dot com. If you are uh, on Instagram or Facebook, it's Takana's Kitchen. If you want to email me, it's Takana's Kitchen it's info at Sakana's Kitchen dot com. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. My phone number is 872-240-COOK, 872-240-2665. Wow, man. And I always tell people, you really should let me feed you. I'd love to. That's <laughs> yeah. my slogan. You yes. should let me feed you. Oh, I have definitely started salivating. You ready to try some <laughs> other than hamburgers now? No, I still no, have he's not. I'm, I'm not ready. She bringing you a salad. I'm gonna week. bring you a salad. A now that salad. I will How do. That? I, uh, he don't even what? eat that. He don't even eat. Salad. You don't eat salad. <laughs> no. I was gonna bring you a steak salad, but you no. don't eat salad. Mm. What special. do you get on your Whopper? Uh, give me that. Tell me what you get on your Whopper. I uh, just ke simple ketchup, mustard, and onions. That's it. Ketchup, mustard, and onions. So if I gave you a salad, you don't even get any lettuce or anything. No. Okay, I'm gonna figure you out. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I am a mad scientist with that. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> All right. Well, Diva, yes. wow. Uh, you know, I'm so intrigued. And thank you again for bringing a great person to the small business spotlight here. And uh, we definitely look forward to this. I, I see now it's a challenge now. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> All right. She's going to bring you some hamburger infused sausages or something. something. <laughs> hamburger infused out. pancakes. He eats well, pancakes and sausages. Yeah. Mm. I got a very small <laughs> list of food. So. Sugar, sugar, sugar. That's yeah. all that is. It goes into sugar. I got you. Uh -huh. Okay. Pretty much. Well, uh -huh. we thank you. <laughs> With this consultation we just did on the air, huh? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so love it. I love it. You guys go see me next time on Be All, and it's going to be. Thank you, Takana. <laughs> Takana. All right, so we got more music coming up. Don't go anywhere right here. We're on clubstepping.com. Your station for music, memories, and more.